Hello guys, welcome to another video here today. Inspired by some of your questions in the comment section, I've decided to create a video about product design versus CX design, which is customer experience design and service design. Uh, they cross path with each other. And uh, before we get into that though, just to clarify who we are here in Relab, most of the stuff that we do here are product design, digital product design to be exact. Uh, so we design websites, apps, web applications, and that sort of stuff. So a lot on the UX and UI side of things and use the research but uh, in this video I wanted to talk to you about customer experience design service design as they do uh, they do integrate with each other and being a product designer uh, having a good understanding on customer experience design and service design makes you a really good product designer because you get to think of a broader context and you understand where your position in the um, in the ecosystem of things so hopefully this is gonna make sense to you uh, so let's have a look at service design. Service design is the act of designing everything that everyone touches. It sounds like the grand universal thing, but it is uh, because it covers the front end and most of the time the back end too. So you're looking at the, the how the employees or the organization structure is being set up. You're looking at how what systems are designed to support um, you know the customer service side of things. Um, you're also thinking about uh, basically the platforms that that allows the company and the business to work with each other uh, between the different departments and allow people to con connect with each other that finally you know produces a really good service for the company so it's really about designing everything that everyone touches upon the delivery of a service a product or an offering of a company uh, now let's have a look at CX design which is customer experience design Customer experience design is mainly the front end, so the things that the customer interacts with. So what I've mentioned here is CX design is the act of designing everything that the customer only touches upon their interaction with the service, product, or offering. So the difference between CX and service design is service design supports how CX is being delivered. CX is the front end, service design is the things that supports that from the back end uh, that makes it possible. Right, uh, now I'm gonna dive into product design. Product design is the act of designing a physical or digital product offering. I wanted to be clear here because, man, I do get some backlashes around this. Um, what we talk here in Real Lab most of the time is digital product design, um, but uh, I've, I did a video as well about the difference between you know digital and industrial design but physical product design is industrial design uh, back in the days yes uh, people would refer product design as physical product design but in this day and age uh, product design is oftentimes referred to digital product design too but anyway product design is the act of designing whether it's physical or digital product offering within the intersection of business goals and user needs now I'm gonna show a diagram so it makes a little bit more sense on how these three connect to each other. Let's first look into customer experience design. So customer experience design here covers things like customer service, uh, customer and market research. Uh, it talks about empathy. There's a lot of empathy mapping exercises around CX. Uh, they talk about ethics, the values, they talk about branding. So if there's a branding project these days, oftentimes it would be part of customer experience. Uh, marketing, sales, that's also customer experience. Uh, touch points, they talk about roadmaps and prioritization, data and analytics. Now some of these things might cross path eventually to product design, uh, you know, like roadmaps and prioritization. Oftentimes that's being spoken about as well in product design. Uh, but CX are, you know, to give you an idea, these are the type of CX topics that you would expect from a CX designer. Now let's have a look at service design. Service design is about business strategy, organization design, team structure, uh, team functions and that sort of stuff is oftentimes part of service design because they're designed to support the CX as I mentioned earlier or the front end. Infrastructure is a big thing in service design. The systems design, process design, the product structure, operational procedure, that's all service design because they support the front end. So the way I like to think about it is service design is the back end and CX is the front end. And then you've got product design that connects the two and make it possible, depending on what the product or the company is. But product design is about product delivery, usability, not just from the customer side, but also from the business side. A product designer would think about 
how an administrator from the business side would use the product easily, that it would you know, uh, bring or it would provide some data or showcase some data to the customer side. Uh, product designers think about content strategy, information architecture, interaction, interaction design, user research, and visual design. So there's obviously a lot more than this, but to give you an example, and hopefully uh, it's clear enough as well, Product designers focus on the digital product itself uh, or a physical product in some cases, depending on what the company is. Um, they focus on how to deliver that product that it answers both the business needs as well as the customer needs. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. And if you're uh, on your way to becoming a product designer and still have questions around, oh, hang on a second, am I actually a product designer or a CX designer? Hopefully this will give you some clarity as well. But there's all sorts of uh, good articles out there about the difference between product design and CX. But uh, you can think about product design as being a lot more specialized in one thing, and that is the product that you're designing. CX is way, way broader than that. All right, so I'll stop there. But if you do have any questions, please write your comments down below. I love answering your questions, and they're all very, very constructive and very, very good. Uh, and it gives me a lot of ideas as well. So if you like us to create videos in the, in the future about some of your questions and the things that you might want to know about, just drop down in the comment section. And some of you have been emailing me as well, which is great. So it gives me uh, a lot of ideas in the bank, actually, which is good. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.